flax? Why flax? Jenny? Um... Or am I supposed to just... <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's to try to add some variation to the rotations, especially in organic farmers' rotations, to give them a different option for their the small grain in their rotation. Yeah. Okay. Let's, and then, so consumers are increasingly are consuming more omega threes in their diets, which is a fatty acid that we need. It's an essential fatty acid that we don't normally get because if animal or monogastrics can't create it. Our, and right now in our diets, we only get them in small portions because we don't eat a lot of fish which is where we can usually get omega-3s, and so people are consuming more omega-3s in the form of flax oil. And there just happens to be a new expelling plant in Northwest Iowa that wants to buy locally grown, that wants to buy Iowa flax. But flax hasn't been grown in Iowa since like 1942, and we have different machinery now, and we have varieties that have continually been selected for Canadian climates, and it's pretty different than here. So, that's what our research is on. Okay. How to grow flax in Iowa. All Isn't right. there something like 1,500 acres of flax in Iowa or something like that? Last year there was like 1,200, and 1,000 were harvested from, 200 didn't get harvested. And I don't know what the prediction for this year, I don't know how many acres are this, this year. But not everybody sells to the plant in Cherokee, but that really stimulated stimulated people to want to, motivated people to want to grow it. And then some, you know, direct marketed to farmer's markets or sold to chickens, sold to people for <laughs> giving to chickens. <laughs> they okay. didn't sell it to chickens. So, so it's good chicken feed, but it's also good for, for humans too then. It's... it's is it, that omega-3? No, we want the omega-3s. Right. 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 Yeah, so chickens essentially have the same digestive system as us, and so chickens also can, it comes out in their eggs and in their meat if they eat flax. And then, <laughs> really, this last semester, I walked into one of my professor's offices, and she was like, do you want to work for me this summer? And I was like, um, Work on what? And she's like, organic flex production. <laughs> and I was like, well, that sounds different. <laughs> and, but yeah, I don't know. It sounded interestingly different. And I like the idea of working for her. So, okay. So I said sure. And then I found out that I got to work with Sarah. And I was like, oh, this is going to be good. So these are in blocks, right? So these are seven different treatments in block one and block two, and we harvested that yesterday, so that's these plots. And then down here, we're gonna finish up this project. And this is a weed management study, so we're doing different underseedings with flax and a herbicide treatment, and then mechanically planting it differently to see what's the best way we can control weeds. And as you can see, there's a lot of weeds in flax. It's not very competitive. So this is a really important thing. So we're going to harvest today these two blocks and hopefully maybe something else if we get I'm looking out here, it almost looks like there's two different things in there. You got the long grass stem stuff and then you got this kind of ball stuff. Yeah, well, this, which, which one's the this flax? is weeds. So oh, okay. The green stuff is weeds and the stuff with the bowls is flax. Okay, so those balls, will those actually be the seed pods then? Yeah, I can open one up for you if you want. The flax seeds. <clears throat> All right. These flags that mark the edges of the plot like this. Green one right there, so. We'll make sure we're in the plot and we'll walk in and we'll set the quadrat down and the flax. And then 
we harvest everything in the quadrat. Um, flax, weeds, and in this plot there's an underseeding of red clover to try to help control the weeds. And we take this high-tech harvesting equipment. and we separate flax and weeds and under seedings and then we'll thresh the flax to be able to calculate yield and then we'll um, dry and then weigh the mass of the weeds and the mass of the under seeding to see how well the under seeding got established and how well, if at all, the underseeding controlled the weeds. All right, so Jenny has uh, given me the tools for harvesting flax, and I'm going to try it out. Since she's been such a good trainer, I think I can figure it out. So I got my square here. Oh, it's an open-end square. I thought that was kind of cool, so you don't have to when you drop it over. It doesn't get caught on the top. Anyway, we'll set that down there. All right. I'll cut everything here. Do I need to get all the way down to the bottom, like right next to the soil? Um, yeah. So you separate, are you, gonna, are you gonna measure everything that was grown in this square, or just the flax? We'll, we'll cut, we'll get a uh, yield on the flax, and then we'll get the dry weight of everything else grown in the plot. Okay. So you're gonna get an overall biomass produced. Yep. All right, what do you think to clean out my box? Looks pretty good. All right. Woohoo! I'm a flax harvester. <laughs> okay, I'm here with Juan and Federico from Uruguay, and they are students who are visiting and helping uh, Sarah and Mary Wiedenhoff with their flax research and some other field plots. So, actually, I gotta ask you first, what do you call the stuff in that cup? Mate. 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 With a T. Mate. Mate. T E. Uh huh. So, do, does everyone drink it like that from the cup? Yeah, yeah. Everyone in Uruguay does. And Argentina also. And maybe south of Brazil. Uh huh. It's really common there. <laughs> so why did you come to Iowa? Well, um, a little of history I may, may tell because in March uh, some student from here went to Uruguay to do some kind of travel course, something like that, and they went there and we met there we were doing some course with with them, and then when they come back, Sarah asked us if we want to come and know the production system from from this region. So I don't know. We we never been in the USA, so we pick it and come came here. So here here we are. <laughs> Que está o volante, nem olha para trás. Aperta os olhos, solta a fuga.